In this video, we're truly straying into the realm of probability by solving a very classical probability problem, it looks like. In this problem, we're imagining that we have some bin that has a bunch of like marbles in it. There's some red marbles in it and some green marbles in it. And we want to know how likely is it that we pull certain balls out of this uh, bin that we've created. This is a very classical example in probability, and we're going to do some study of it here. Let x equal... Looking at the code, we have that we lose if we take out something that is red, and otherwise we are fine. So we want to know how many of these things are going to be green, the other color. So let x equal the number of green balls removed. And we want to know what is the expected number of that, like we've done several times in the past, because we can compute the runtime is a constant plus a constant times x. So the expected time is c plus c times the expected value of x. So we need to understand that variable. This might not be so bad at first, but let's see what happens. So what is the probability that we pull out one green ball. Well, on the first pull, let's look at the count of the various objects. We initialize our data structure to have two M green balls and M red balls. So there are two M green out of three M total, which is just two thirds. Now, what is the probability of two green? Well, in order to get two green, the first one had to be green. So we have that 2m over 3m times, we need to do it again, but because we are removing these objects, we are not multiplying by the same thing. Uh, after I've removed one green ball, I have 2m minus one green balls left, and I have also removed one of the total balls from the bin. So this is 3m minus 1 total options. So the probability of 3 green is 2m over 3m times 2m minus 1 over 3m minus 1. So in order to get three, we had to first get two and then get another one. So the next one we get is two M minus two and three M minus two, because again, we have removed one green ball, which removes both in the top and the bottom. Continuing this, what is the probability that we get K green balls? Well, that's going to be two M over three M times two M minus one over 3m minus 1 times 2m minus 2 over 3m minus 2 all the way down until we need to be careful here when we pulled out three green balls we had minus 2 as our last term so this is going to be 2m minus k plus 1 over 3m minus the same so this looks like a nightmare to, to begin with. But we can actually do something nice with bounding these expressions. So this second expression here is less than or equal to 2 over 3 times 2 over 3. The next one is less than or equal to 2 over 3 times 2 over 3 times 2 over 3. The last one is less than or equal to 2 over 3 to the k. So my expected runtime here, the expected time, is equal to c plus c times the sum from i equals 1 to infinity of the probability that x is greater than or equal to i. And I used a bit of a different notation here. This bottom term, just to clarify, would be that x is greater than or equal to k. This would be x greater than or equal to 3, x greater than or equal to 2, and x 
greater than or equal to one. I used a more natural language notation there, but let's transfer more to our mathematical notation now. So we have C plus, but I can't say it equals here. This is unfortunate. So instead we've abandoned hope of that and we're just tried to bound it above. And if we're bounding it above, we know those nice upper bounds. It was x greater than or equal to k was 2 thirds to the k, which makes this 2 thirds to the i. And I'm going to explain a different way to come up with what that summation would converge to. If we were, were to write out the terms of that summation, it would be 2 thirds plus 4 ninths plus 8 27ths and so on. And that is actually just one less than our geometric series if we were to have a one at the start. So this is equal to C plus C times one over one minus two thirds, but it's one less than that. This equals C plus C times three minus one, which all of that combines to give three C. What does this tell me? I have a less than or equal to over here and then ET of N. So my expected time is in big O of one, and every single algorithm is by default in big omega of one, so it's actually in big theta of one. This might seem like a very contrived probabilistic example where we've made up this obscure situation with having these set of balls and a set of bins and we're pulling things out and removing them, but this will actually be almost identical to the analysis we're going to use when we look at open address hashing in a couple of weeks. So this may have seemed like a very abstract problem, but we will revisit it later.